hello YouTube. Good morning, afternoon, whenever you watch this. I told you I would show you my face. I thought it would be a good idea since I introduced myself. I thought it would be a good idea since I introduced myself covered in coffee. I hope you're having a wonderful day. I have a lot. I have a lot of work to do to understand how to operate a blog and a vlog. I am about to head out the door to my job. My real job. This is one of my joys. As I said, joy is new. Um, my job, it's not a have to either. We don't find things in life and do things in life that don't have some kind of payoff. I'm working minimum wage as a custodian. But there's a family atmosphere that someone like me really, really benefits from. And money isn't everything. Um, there's a warmth at my building and I love my boss. He is fantastic. He is my friend. He cares about his people. So for a socially isolated person with atypical American values, having a work place that is like a family is more than money can buy. It adds true value to my life. I also mentioned in the coffee introduction, my nails are even done. I'm on the ball today about feeling the urge and giving into it. I have to have an aside there. You shouldn't always give in to your urges. There's a technique from Marsha Linehan called surfing the urge. I'll get more into her and what that's all about in another specific video. But for right now, we're talking about the bad habits that you have, whatever you decide is a bad habit, smoking, eating too much, eating the wrong thing, deciding not to move and just lay around the couch and watch TV all day. If you get to the point where you become aware of it, it takes 15 minutes for an urge to subside. If you can surf the urge or ride the wave, ride the wave of emotions and cravings. If you can distract yourself for five, 10, 15 minutes, um, you can stop that habit. So yes, when you feel the urge to do something positive and productive that's gonna make you feel good about yourself, go for it. Don't, don't let that moment pass, you may not get it back. But when you feel the urge to do something that's going to add to that pile of negative self-beliefs and guilt and all that other garbage that we're trying to move aside here. Um, surf the urge. Don't give in to those urges. I should choose my words more carefully next time. And I said I wasn't Dr. Phil. Take what works, leave what doesn't. That's the only rule in life. No one knows everything, and there's no right way to do anything. Um, there's no rules. If you run with the good right then and there, 
and resist the bad for just 15 minutes. Just give yourself 15 minutes and go back. It'll make a world of difference. You'll start to build up a, a bank of positive action and lessen that load of moments you wish you hadn't had. We have them all. We all have them. You'll have less of them. So, I just wanted to clarify, surf the urge. I wanted to prove I am a human. Occasionally, I can dress myself not in a bathrobe. I hope you are all having a wonderful day. I'm going to have a wonderful work day. I was up way too early again. But there's always tomorrow. And work just is. It's not a have to. It's a get to. You need to look at the things in your life as get to's. Whatever they are and an opportunity. Find the opportunity in everything. I have to go to work. Boy, that's uplifting and encouraging. I get to go to work. I have two legs, two arms. I am blessed to be able to be mobile. I didn't fit in an exercise regime today. I had doctor's appointments and I was too out of it from not taking care of my sleep great to wake up early, only if you've slept. Um, and I have a job where I'm on my feet for at least four hours. So it's built-in exercise. I get to visit these people that I consider family. I get to visit these people that I consider family. It's social. It's movement. I work by myself so I can be alone with my thoughts and let my body go into muscle movement and muscle memory and clear my mind and either consider my day, consider creative aspirations, practice focusing, practice mindfulness become aware of little small details that you're not noticing if you're not really present. Don't tune out in your job. Tune in to something. So yeah. Plenty long enough for another smattering of, of not a lot. I just wanted to show my face like I promised I would. And I just wanted to show my face like I promised I would. I like to follow through with what I say I'm going to do. It's another thing that will get you really far in life. And for now, I gotta watch my time management. It's getting awfully close. I gotta go. Gotta go be social. Gotta go be mindful. I get to go get exercise that I wasn't going to get otherwise. I get to go to work. Some people don't even have a job. This is how you approach life from now on. You catch that shit. Sorry, I swear too much. I'll work on it. <laughs> you catch that negativity. And you flip it. That silver lining. Thing. It's true. So, thank you for spending the last however many minutes with me. So, thank you for spending the last however many minutes with me. I appreciate it. If you like it, awesome. If it helps you, even better. If you hate it, sorry. But, not on me. Not anymore. Kind of except for the fact that I've got to go to work. Love you guys. Bye.